The Grand Canyon men's basketball team started basketball practice with a bang, literally. Head coach Thunder Dan Marley rode in on a Harley for Midnight Madness. The theme was the apocalypse. So we kind of went a Mad Max theme and uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, you know, I've, I've had a Harley for a while and you know, had the sleeveless stuff on, which may be good or bad. I'm not sure. Give it up for Thunder Dan Marley, the best in the There was plenty of reason for excitement in the Valley of the Sun. The Lopes are picked number two in the WAC just an eyelash behind New Mexico State. GCU is coming off a 27 and seven season. Our goal is always to, to win the WAC. Uh, you know, the first year we finished third, second year we finished second, uh, last year we finished second. Uh, we were the only team to beat New Mexico State last year, uh, finished 11 and three. Marley is now in his fourth season as head coach at Grand Canyon. This will be their final season transitioning from division two to division one. So the Lopes are not able to qualify for the NCAA tournament or go to the WAC tournament, but Coach Marley has made sure his team will play in plenty of big games. This year we start at Duke, which will be the number one team in the country. Uh, we go to U of A. Uh, we have Louisville and San Diego State playing on our campus. So those are four teams right there in the top 30 in the country that we're playing. GCU returns three starters, including WAC preseason player of the year, Josh Braun. Josh is just a beast. I mean, he, he went through two surgeries this year in the summer. I mean, this kid's had, you know, I've had probably 12 surgeries myself, and he's, he's surpassed me by a long shot. So the way he just keeps bouncing back and um, playing and getting better. Marley sees another great season ahead and plenty more to cheer about for the Havocs at Grand Canyon. Well, I hope we're deeper, um, more talented. Uh, we're more athletic, I know that for sure. Uh, a little bit different. We don't. We lost a, a big time inside score. I don't know if we'll have that this year, um, but I think we're tougher, more athletic, deeper. Reporting for the WAC Digital Network, I'm Eric Danner.